When gallstones are stuck in your bile duct, it's called cholidocolithiasis. Doesn't that just sound gross? It is, and let's discuss the problems that are caused when gallstones block your bile ducts. First, let's understand what a gallstone is. Under normal circumstances, your liver produces a thin bile, which helps to excrete waste and to digest fat. Excess bile is stored in the gallbladder where it's concentrated, and if it becomes too concentrated, it can precipitate into stones. Think of water that's super saturated with sugar forming rock candy, and you start to understand what a gallstone is. And you can think of the problems that that causes if it slips out of the gallbladder into the bile ducts. Those are only a few millimeter wide, and so they very easily get jammed up by one of these gallstones. Now, gallstones are pretty common. Better than 10% of people have them, but most often they cause no problems. So let's break down the word cholidocolithiasis. Cholidoco refers to the bile duct. It means that it is containing bile. Lithiasis indicates that there's a stone stuck in there. Cholidocolithiasis sounds bad for good reasons because it causes some big problems. First, when all that bile backs up, it congests the liver and it eventually spills over into the blood and it gives you an achy yellow tinge to your skin called jaundice and it turns the whites of your eyes yellow called scleral icterus. From there, it gets worse. Normally, bile flows continuously through the ducts and that helps to prevent bacteria from climbing up them. Think of a waterfall, it's impossible to climb, but in the winter, if it freezes into ice, an intrepid ice climber can hike their way up that waterfall and bacteria will do the same thing when the bile stops flowing. So when a bile duct gets blocked up, it can be the first step towards a very severe infection called cholangitis. And that can eventually lead to liver failure, septic shock and death. And so this is a very important thing for the emergency room to get all over, get antibiotics started, and they'll quickly involve GI because we need to remove that stone, as we'll talk about soon. Another problem that can occur is pancreatitis. The pancreas produces digestive enzymes as well to help break down proteins, fats, sugars, and it excretes those enzymes through the same duct system. So if that's backed up, the pancreas is jammed up and it gets really angry. That is a painful condition, pancreatitis, causes a lot of nausea, vomiting, and similarly can be very dangerous. And so both of these situations, cholangitis, pancreatitis, really important to act promptly on. I hope this video helps you to understand cholidocolithiasis, what it is and its complications. Please subscribe to the channel to watch for new videos on the evaluation and management of cholidocolithiasis. Thank you and be safe.